Okay, what we have here is a partially disassembled uh, stock NT carburetor for a motorized bicycle engine. And basically all this video is for is uh, the short version on how to adjust the needle clip on your carburetor slide needle. And this is the needle here. <clears throat> to get right down to it. You can see on the needle where the clip is at, you have four different notches. Some of these carburetors will have five notches, but this particular one only has four. And where it's set right now, being third down from the top, or the short side, uh, is running a more uh, a rich mixture of air and fuel. If you move it towards the top, towards this side that's going to lean out your mix so the very top notch is full lean and if you go all the way to the bottom notch which is one down from where it's set now that will be full rich so you know that's the simplest way that I can explain it and uh, one easy way to to take these clips off of here is if you see it here just uh, take it with the open side Lay it flat on the ground, on the, on your surface there, and put your finger real close to it. I'm gonna put the camera over it so it don't fly off because I can't hold with my other finger. But uh, just press down, and it'll pop right off. And that's all you got to do. And to put it back on, you know, if you want to change your, your position of your clip, just you can use your fingers and slide it back on. You don't really need to use pliers. But, uh, yep, that's all there is to it. And that is just the quick, short, how to do it. And one other adjustment that you can make, other than adjusting the clip, you know, you can uh, use the idle screw here. Uh, you know, once it's all together and hooked up and, and you got your, your engine running, if you turn it clockwise, it'll bring the idle up. And if you turn it counterclockwise, it's going to bring the idle down. And then you can kind of tune it from there, you know, and try different settings on your, on your needle as well. But that's all there is to it.